Hey, so excited to uh, have you here and listening to uh, our testimonials and our stories. If I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you, my name is Elizabeth Eleanor. I'm a spiritual warrior and I'm a conscious creation coach. I support women uh, mainly to find their intuition and um, connecting with their superconscious and to have more of what they love in their life and less of what uh, they don't want in their life so that they're actually creating um, the life that they love. So I'm here with just a couple of my clients uh, that has been part of the Conscious Creator Mastermind uh, and we decided we were all going to come on and share some of the results that we've been getting uh, through that process. So thank you for joining us and listening in. So um, on the screen, on my screen, is um, Mary Ann up the top. So um, lovely to have you here, Mary Ann. Do you want to share your story with us? Yes, I do. Um, I'm Mary Ann from North Queensland, and I'm an artist slash full time admin officer. And um, I've been doing the conscious creator for about a year. And prior to doing it, I was sort of. Um, my life was a little bit confusing, very busy, um, trying to do art, trying to do work. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to create was uh, more art and less time at work and um, to be able to create an income, a regular income from my art so that eventually that can be my predominant um, income source. So... Um, one of the good things I've created as I've gone along is regular selling of my paintings, which um, has just sort of escalated and it's it's keeping on going. Um, and I've just dis discovered some new um, techniques and, um, yeah, I'm really quite enjoying it and getting to know um, more about that side of things. So that's um, one of the things that I've... I've also wanted to create that I work from home more with my art, but one of the things I've done in the last week is I'm working from home two days a week. It is with my normal job, but I see that as a first step in actually being at home more. It's, it's really interesting, isn't it, when you start yeah. creating and you don't work out, you know, you don't go into the how, you just, uh, you know, this is what I choose to create. And, um, and how it turns out is often a bit unusual and surprising, right? So, yeah. And your, um, your art's been selling. I've been watching it, you know, increase in sales. Every time mm. you put something on, something gets sold. <laughs> so yeah. it's been beautiful it's happening, watching. happening pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well done. Thank you so much, Marianne. Thank so you, Liz. I'm going to go, um, Hayley. How are you going, Hayley? Hello, really good. Um, one of the one of the, the big things that I was holding the end result for for a well worked out it was actually a very long time almost ten years we had um, been trying to have a baby and twelve weeks ago I started the conscious creator course and I'm twelve weeks pregnant so it's massive um, for us <laughs> and um, I kind of feel a bit of a change in the air with. A job as well, which has been another massive thing. Oh, awesome, awesome. That is so good because I know um, that's one of the, that's what actually started the process of you coming in, right, is to yeah. to be able to start working for yourself and or, you know, change your job um, because there was some instability in your, in your work. So that's yeah. so good to hear. Yeah, is this pregnancy hormones, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally fine. Thank you so much. It's so exciting. I've um, I actually have helped about four women now uh, fall pregnant. So yeah. um, it's very exciting to have you and congratulations. Thank you. So uh, I'm going to go to Jackie now. How are you going, Jackie? I'm good, thank you. Hi, ladies. <laughs> uh, where do I start? I joined uh, Conscious Creation in March 21. So prior to that, I was actually living in, I'm back in New Zealand at the moment, prior to that I was living in Brisbane. 
and I lost my son in 2019. And uh, my parents, well, my mum was not well, so I decided back to move back to New Zealand in September last year. And I started Conscious Creation in March last year. So there was a lot going on in my life, um, juggling my, now my, my dad's not well, so I'm managing both of them with the help of my siblings. Now, but there was a lot going on um, in the midst of still grieving for my son. And I couldn't even think about myself. <laughs> Someone asked me, what do you want to do? No idea, you know, and I just uh, found it hard getting it, wanting to keep living, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But with this creation, it's just been, I knew when I first met Elizabeth, um, I knew I was in the right place and on the right path um, from that first 30-minute introduction. It was so cool. And I had, at that moment, I had some blocks blow out, <laughs> you know, out, and I knew I was in the right place to heal to be able to focus on myself, um, well, yeah, and to um, understand that that um, you are important and self-care is so important. And along the way, I've um, shifted some things, like being the responsible girl, and, <laughs> and I'm not responsible for everything and everybody around me. Um, <laughs> that was just enormous. Um, and, you know, coming into this new year, oh, my gosh, it's been so cool. I'm so much, I'm way more grounded. I, um, I'm i um, aware of um, little, you know, relationships around me, not triggered by a whole lot of things. I'm thinking, oh, well, you know, and I'm able to step back and pause and uh, and just keep creating. <laughs> so yeah, cool. that's so and, awesome. Yeah. It's it's been wonderful, but I just needed to share with you this one thing, and it's it's a it's a massive um, download. <laughs> but um, I could actually see my end result. <laughs> I couldn't even see a goal before, <laughs> even you know. Now I can actually see an end result, and that's um, just a, a veggie garden. <laughs> yeah, and all this abundance of vegetables and 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 giving it. Um, to the community, and it, it was just so cool. But there's a lesson of um, tilling the soil, and I, you know, the journey I've been on the last year, um, this is normal, okay? <laughs> it's normal. I can be laughing and, and still um, have that pain in there. Oh, it's absolutely. Cool. Emotion's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm um, tilling the soil when you are preparing to plant seed good soil and then planting a good seed and it's just amazing and then having um, fruit at the end it's it's just um, it's your life as well yeah it's and that's cool. what we're here doing right is yeah. but it's got to be the good soil that we're planting the, the seeds in yes. and so it's really you know um, that mm. that's something that not everyone understands or gets and so you know, from from where you were, um, mm. and to be able to, you know, find that and and to start creating that, um, uh, you know, desired end result. That's mm -hmm. so awesome. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you. So Wanda, we've got you in the middle. <laughs> Love to hear your journey and story. <laughs> well, that's a hard one to follow. One with Jackie. Lots of love to you. Love your story. Um, oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> so I guess my journey, um, lifetime journey, but I started getting a lot of kicks in the rear end from the universe and I got made redundant, mm, I don't know, 2016, retrained as a clinical hypnotherapist, never really got my business up and running. Uh, and then my sister passed away in 2019, um, unexpectedly set me on this sort of self discovery more self-discovery um came across elizabeth and woman of light because i was searching for a tribe and i think what woman of light then did was it's a stepping stone to meeting elizabeth um working with her and then 
this is a tribe that takes it to the next level. You know, what are we really doing here? Why are we here? How are we going to find our purpose? How are we going to live our purpose? Um, so I think I've been in the group for about seven months. Um, and I guess one of the things I want to say is, is, you know, we have to be a little mindful of our definition of success because I think, you know, listening to Jackie's point of view where we talk about tilling the soil, it's everything is a success if it's better than what we had before. Absolutely. Everything. Um, and my, my success has been that I have such clarity about my end results. I still have some stuff to tidy up, um, but I'm not stressing about that any longer. It's in the process of being, I'm just letting that go to the universe. Um, and I'm also very conscious about my language. So even if I'm in other groups on Facebook or wherever, I'm really aware of the language that I'm using about the desired end results and the feeling state. So this has become almost cellular, so it's really becoming my life. This is how I'm, and then I know that then I can really take that out and stand really firm with my desired end result. My business is coming into clarity. Um, you know, my other my other desired end results have such clarity and such purpose, and I, if I sit there and think about them, I feel them innately, like in my very core of my being, and I know they're so close. So as we journey on that, that this is what happens. We we manifest because we have this really like-minded group that's taking us through the process, taking us through the journey, supporting each other, loving on each other. Um, and as I said, it's it's a woman of light tribe taken to just another level. Um, and for that, for Elizabeth and for everyone else, all the other ladies I've met, just so grateful. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Wanda. It's been um, it's been awesome watching your growth and awareness. So, Charlene, we've got you up next. You've got a big story. <laughs> hey, hey, beautiful ladies, how how are you all? I'm I'm just loving listening to your stories again, like I have heard them before. But um, it's just always so beautiful to um, revisit them and to share with each other. Um, so, yes, my story is that when I, uh, so Elizabeth and I had worked together one-on-one -on -one a little bit previous uh, before, and then in, in September 2020, I was diagnosed with stage 3 advanced breast cancer. And for me, I knew that it wasn't just a, from the, from, the, from the word go, I, you know, from the day I was diagnosed, I knew that it wasn't just a physical journey, it was, a spiritual journey as well that I needed to go on uh, if I wanted to heal myself. And so literally I started to gather people around me, just a few people that I know that could help me through what I needed to work through. And I literally asked the universe for my spiritual teacher and, and you know, within a day or two, Elizabeth reaches out and says, hey, how are you going? I'm like, funny you should say that. Can we talk? And then um, I think I'd started... Um, I had started, uh, I, so my result when we started working together was that I was prepared to have chemotherapy, but I wanted to get myself to the point where I didn't need surgery and I didn't need radiation. And so we jump on the phone, I've got no hair, and um, she's like, wow. I freaked out. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And How so are you? <laughs> you, were doing, you, you? You were doing your work at the time. Yeah. You already you were doing your coursework, and so you were teaching me. And we were having one-on-one -on -one sessions, but we were, we were doing the conscious creative work together. And um, so, yes, as I said, my desired result was that yes, I did chemo, but I'd do everything else I could um, to get myself to the point where I didn't need those that extra treatment. And we got there um, by the end of chemo, which was at it was in, end of February last year. The PET scan showed no, the cancer had gone. There was still some scar, there was some scar tissue, but cancer completely gone. So um, we, so that was yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. And so then I started the course in March last year because you know at that time I had a corporate job. I was you know it was it was a quite a high pressure job, and I was trying to get a business off the ground. So I was like 
work, 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 work. I'd be working to midnight every night, barely sleeping, um, you know, a young child at home, um, a partner that, well, he was great. He, unless I asked him to do things, didn't really do anything around the house. And so my head was just full of stuff. And so now, you know, I knew I had to change my life to stay well. And so I quit my job. We've, you know, um, Shane's quit his job. We, you know, we, we wanted to move to the country. We thought we wouldn't do that for a couple of years. We moved in in December. We bought the beautiful property that I came and st- we came and stayed at the day I was diagnosed with breast cancer. So we now own this amazing place and I'm just so, so blessed to be here and, you know, learning more about myself and letting go of, you know, I know I was quite worried about money, like a lack of money. I've let that go since probably in the last few weeks. Um, yeah, so really, and it's just been, not that I've recoded it, but just letting go of, I think, probably the need to control and know. You know, I thought I'd let go of knowing, wanting to know and needing to know how things are going to happen. I've really, really noticed that I don't need to know that anymore. You know, just trust, trust and it will happen. And it has and it has been. It's just, you know, what's happened for me in the last year has just been phenomenal. And I cannot express my love and gratitude for you, Elizabeth, and all the beautiful women that, you know, are part of this community and, um, you know, sharing my story, you know, anyone can do this, you know, it doesn't matter what you're facing, what you're coming up against, you can do it. Absolutely. I did it, you know, it was an eight centimetre tumour I found out halfway through. Um, You know, it was in the lymph nodes. It was, you know, it hadn't spread anywhere else, but it's not there anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Well done. Thank you so much for sharing, Charlene. That's awesome. Thank you. And congratulations again. Um, So, Terry, Terry, you've you've, um, pretty much just sort of started in um, Conscious Creator, haven't you? So, Yeah, so I started just a couple of months ago. Well, like, correction. I signed on a couple of months ago and we had a chat and then I did, was the delinquent student who has not really done a great deal, um, made a very conscious choice over the last couple of months to just step back from everything that was not absolutely imperative to do. And, and this, because it hasn't sort of become a part of my world yet, was one of the things that I just put a pause on because I just needed a bit of a break. Um, having said that, I, I do know that like I've not done that to that degree before in my business, but when I have stopped previously, um, I've felt really guilty for it. And this time I didn't. I just went, no, like I just was so much nicer to myself um, in that process. And then as we got on here today, one of the other things that um, my husband and I have been wanting to do is to invest in some real estate. And the markets right now are crazy. Places are selling before they're even going to market. Um, we went for a drive to look at some land that we found a week ago. Fairly, you know, not, not, we had a look at a couple of blocks, sent out some messages, discovered that one of the blocks of land um, that we literally drove past and nearly didn't actually stop because there's this cool fruit in this grass that's like ridiculously overgrown. I had to push the grass aside to get the phone number off the bottom of the cool flute. Message the lady. It's a friend of mine who's got this block of land. She's not even a real estate agent normally. Um, so asked about the block, you know, they, she gave me a guide, we put in an offer and I literally sent the offer off just before I hopped onto this call, um, that I have already been told that the owners are going to accept. That's a, that's a little under $30,000 less than what the property was listed for four years ago. It's the last block of land that the developer owns in that space and he just wants to get rid of it. Like nothing is dropping in prices at the moment, nothing. There's stuff here that's dropped, jumped 50% in the last, in the last 12 months. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's really interesting. Once you, start, once you start recoding the life you love and, you know, being the predominant creative force and all of those things, 
it's interesting the things, the dynamics that change and how they change. You think, ah, oh, you know, the only thing I'm doing different is recoding, you know, like it's um, I've had a lot of my own success stories through the process as well. So I know that, you know, like you go, wow, you know, that, that's the only thing that's different. So, so well done, Terry. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. So, um, Lucia, you've been working with Conscious Creator with your business, right? I have, yes. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth, for giving me the opportunity to um, share my story. Uh, I have been a little bit um, missing, ladies, but the reason why is that I catch up on the recoding and I must say that when I... Um, really um, drop into my my end result, my desired outcome, I get true clarity. I'll just give you a little bit of a back pedal. 2018, I joined a business coach and was working with that business coach for almost um, two years. And then Liz and I kind of formed a bit of a relationship and uh, we, you know, backwards and forwards chatting about women of light and then she was talking to me in, in March about conscious creators and I said, I want in. I really, I really know that for me I had to do some big work around some fears and some old limiting beliefs. I had some huge, huge breakthroughs. Um, and money, Charlene, was one of my big ones as well. I had um, huge breakthroughs with that um, and my fear around money um, was was probably the biggest the biggest one and letting go of control, allowing allowing what can happen to happen and um, middle of 2021, um, I began a program coaching coaches around business and I am an empowerment coach um, but previously with style, so as a personal stylist. Uh, going from being a personal stylist to empowering people in business was a huge leap of faith and um, I guess facing that fear my program started with eight people in August of last year, 2021, and I have 13 that are starting this year in my, my program. But let me tell you, the first program that I did, Liz, yeah, thank you, ladies, the first program I did for six months at a certain price, and um, it was the beta. I did it once for that price. And I revisited just with, you know, open heart, I guess you could say, and um, direction, seeking direction on my end result. And I offered it for four months at the same price and got those eight people. So the value or the end result was just amazing. Like, and like I said to you, I've got 13 in this, this year. So... I'm so excited, like it's, it's, but the other thing that happened, you know, that's my business, but personally I faced some huge crises last year and in that time I was still building and growing a business. My husband had a breakdown. Um, we had no care from my disabled daughter. I was managing everything um, and still being conscious of, what I was creating, you know, my end result. I now have a huge uh, end result uh, for my 70th birthday. I will be um, living in Europe. That is, you know, my, my, that's, that's where I go to. That's where I tell myself that's what I'm going to, to do. And Jackie, what you were saying about toiling the soil, the property has that I've seen, I'm, I'm this close to purchasing, um, is a garden and being out in, in Mother Earth, you know, that, that is so super important to me. 
Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just truly blessed. It's been amazing. And um, yeah. thank you so much, Lucia. Um, what's what's really beautiful about that something that you've brought up is the fact that um, if you miss the live recodes um, that you can watch the the replays and they're just as powerful right and so we do have a lot of people doing that is um, catching up on the the stuff that's in the library and we've got over a hundred um, recodes in the library uh, now, so we've got this beautiful um, library membership that people can join in if they want to. So, um, well done. And yeah, when you hold the end result, you just don't go. You don't worry about the how, and it just so you know changing professions, you know, and all that. So, so well done. Thank you for sharing, Thank you. Macarena. Our beautiful Macarena. Hello. Um, yeah so I've been on the course since March um, sort of the very beginning Um, been going through some pretty challenging times in the last couple of years Um, and I got to Elizabeth not even sure how um, uh, we met but we did and it was you know all meant to be Um, started working with one-on-one sessions first and then moved into the conscious creator group um and there's a few things that really stand out for me for this process um and the first one that that was mentioned before as well is having a, a sense of a tribe um it just became such a beautiful group and and it's actually amazing how all of these women from various places in the world all come together and we all just we're all rooting for each other and we all really get excited for um, each other when, when we see the wins and the transformations coming through. Um, to me, that's that's massive. That's probably, you know, one of the biggest things that I'm like looking forward to this every week to, to just see where everyone's at and, and what everyone's sharing. Um, and, and one of the other things that's been big for me is the shift in in just trusting that this is that this works that you know that this everything always works out for me what we say as a mantra um i've just noticed that my go-to is now that like i just i i do worry sometimes you know about the how and and how am i going to get there and then how are things going to go and but at the same time i just know deep down that this works and and i've seen some beautiful wins and I guess the the major one for me right now is that I feel very um, at peace, um, just you know more grounded, and and I got into the habit of, of declaring my choices every morning, and that really has had such a big impact in how I start my day, um, and I'm just really loving and savoring the day to day as they go. So it's been amazing um, being able to to grow with this process um, and repeat it every week and just you know we, we'll nurture each other um uh, when when we share our wins so it's been amazing absolutely and that's one of the things that i love about the community is is that total connection and support that um the women have for each other so thank you so much macarena for sharing so if you're watching this and you're interested and you're wondering how come I how can I get these results and uh, you know I want in or I just want to learn some more information um, please get in contact with us there'll be some details at the end of this video and um, you can uh, get in contact with me on my team and we'll be able to support you and answer any of your questions for you so take care everyone thank you so much and see you next time.